Today we're ready for a new adventure. We're here in Scandinavia, an absolute stunning location. Uh, it's a big water and we're targeting uh, pike. Uh, the pike have just finished spawning, uh, so they're going to be quite located and we're going to have to find that big uh, group of fish. Um, we've looked at the map and we've made some decisions on where to go. We're going to start in the northwestern uh, area of the lake. It receives a lot of sun hours and we believe that's where the big fish are going to be. Uh, the particular lake that we have chosen um, holds uh, a lot of fish. There is a chance of a really, really good one, but I think we're going to get a lot of action today on double figure pipe. So, what do you say, guys? Yeah. Let's go rock and roll. Yeah. Now the team is all hyped up to go fishing now. We really want to go fishing. But before we go, I'd like to show you just the basic things that we bring along when we go lure fishing. It's going to improve your fishing day a lot. I've got a lot of good tools for removing hooks safely. I've got hook sharpeners. I've got split ring pliers. I've got a digital scale on hooking mat and way slings to make sure that we handle the fish properly. Today we're going to practice catch and release, so we're going to take really good care of the fish before we release them. I've got my first aid kit, I've got a whole selection of lures. I organize it this way that I've got all my colored lures in one box for the murky water conditions, and I've got the natural lure colors in another box. Today, this place that we're fishing, the water is 100% clear, really, really gin clear water. I'm going to select natural colors. By experience, I found that these colors are particularly well on the lures that we've chosen for the day. This is the sander color for the freestyle. It's proven very, very effective under these conditions. Here's really a legendary color code. We call it Dirty Roach. This particular color code has caught many, many big fish in this typical uh, gin clear water that we have in, in these areas. So the lip lure, full play lip lure, have chosen the Dirty Roach color. I've chosen the same color pattern for the big butch lure that we're going to be using today for the trolling part. And for the deviator jerk bait, I've also chosen 08 Dirty Roach. For my small butch and my low rider, I've chosen a brand new color pattern. We call it Orf. And I have a feeling that this color pattern is going to be very effective today. Last but not least, I have a drogue so I can uh, drift and take down the speed. I have a, a nice big landing net if we're lucky to get hook into a really, really big fish. And one last thing I want to say before we go is that it's very important that you keep the boat very tight and neat organized. Don't leave a lot of hooks and lures hanging about. Keep everything nice and tight and it will improve your fishing a lot. Let's go do it. Now we've arrived at our destination here, the northern bay that we pointed out on the map. And we've had the first 20 casts and straight away we found that this is the top lure. The deviator in the color pattern I predicted, 08 Dirty Roach. It's really, really good fishing it seems and the conditions are just right. But before we continue fishing, let me just show you the kit I've got here. I'm using a six feet, um, six inch jerkbait rod. I've got a Savage Gear MP bait caster reel. And I'm using this deviator as mentioned. And in front of it, I've got a really thick fluorocarbon trace. And the fluorocarbon I use is Prologic's Spectrum fluorocarbon. It's really, really good, and it's very, very strong. 
Uh, the reason why I've chosen a fluorocarbon trace instead of a titanium trace or a wire trace is that the visibility in the water is quite clear. So I want to make a really, really good presentation here. Now we found the fish, now it's all about presentation. Let me just show you how I tie uh, my fluorocarbon directly to my braid. It's called a hangman knot. Let me just show you step by step. I take out about 60 to 70 centimeters of the flu fluorocarbon and just cut that off. Then I take a really strong cross-lock snap and I tie that onto the end of the fluorocarbon just using a simple three turns knot. One, two, three. Just pull that back through the loop and tighten it up. Use my pliers for that. So I just hold on to that. Make sure that this comes down nice and tight. Just really pull hard on this. When I trim down the knot, like so. Then I tie this directly to my braid without using a swivel to get the best possible presentation so that my lure can actually hang in the water, totally suspending, without having a swivel pulling it down. So I just do that by actually making like a uni knot. I make a one turn loop pointing up the braid like so, and this one I pull down real tight, like that. Then I turn the whole thing around, and I do eight loops with the braid, like so, like tying the uni knot. Seven, and eight. It's important that you that you really tie these knots perfectly and that you test them. So now I've tied one knot here and one knot here, and I can pull them and they meet each other like so. So this is basically the holding point. Again, I just tighten down that side of the knot, and I can then trim down the fluorocarbon and the braid, and I'm ready to go. So. I'm going to put my deviator back on. It's going to be a few casts, and she'll do the job. Oh, there was a good take right there. Just slow down and deviate a little bit. Let him sink into the water, and the fish took it immediately. And just as I thought, the fish are in the deeper area here of this shallow bay. So we've got about three, four meters out there. And I just work the deviator slowly on top of the weed. Let's see what this is. doesn't feel big, but... Good action anyhow. There we go. Ah, it's quite decent fish actually. Whoa, come on, come on, come on. Whoa. So it seems that the bigger fish out there in the deeper area, and we got the wind blowing in here, is just perfect. Come on on the deviator. I'm just gonna take a little pressure on that fish. There we go. So for sure, we found the right lure and the right color pattern straight away. This is an outspawn fish. And you can see that quite clearly. See the fins and stuff. It's got a few bruises along this area. Just passing the pliers. Thank you, Henry. There we go. Nice little fish. We'll put him back and we're gonna try again. We're gonna cast the deviator one more time over that area. Now this is an easy fish lure. Let me show you how to work it. Basically, it's a slow sinking lure. I'm just gonna give it a few seconds to come down over the weed top. He's there now. Then I start working that lure, twitching it from side to side. Clack, 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 clack. I pick up the line as the lure shoots up to the side, gliding from side to side. Sometimes I have to force myself to slow down the pace. Just lift my cap, put it back on, fish on. Make a few long strokes, the lure will go a little bit deeper and flash. Take it back to the surface with a few aggressive jerks. Mm. 
once in a while I leave it about five, ten meters from the boat in case I have a follow fish. That's what it's all about. Keep working the lures, making it a little bit erratic. Don't use the same motion all the time, and don't forget a few spin stops. It's quite shallow here, so I'm fishing it quite aggressive to keep it in the surface. Make a long pull, belly flash, tap, tap, tap. Slide out to the side. Take down the pace a little bit. I'm just working the deviator, trying to give it that sliding action and once in a while big belly flash. So a good idea is to change the pace and don't forget a spin stop once in a while. Just let that lure pause. Oh, there we go. I wasn't right, right there. Right on. Right on. I think that's just a little jack. Fish nonetheless. Let's see what we got. So it could be that the wind is pushing down the fish a little bit further. That was just at the end of the cast. Yeah, that's a little jack. So one more time, the deviator, spot on. And this actually looks to be a small female that hasn't spawned yet. Let me just get my pliers here. See, so this fish is actually not spawned. No markings, no nothing. It's really fat on the belly here. Let me just get rid of the hooks. Lovely little one. Put him back. There we go. Let's go get a bigger one. <laughs> 